Rondo in the logo at center court. Low left-hand dribble, moves to Pierce on the wing. Pierce against Rush. Garnett sets a screen, six on the shot clock. Pierce way behind the three-point line. Three on the shot clock. Pierce, left-hand dribble drive, in traffic, kick out. Garnett, 20-footer, got it! Big kick it. Somebody give me a napkin so I can wipe my mouth. Ah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's great I stuff. I love Max. Great stuff. Um, ah. The Celtics Radio Network. <laughs> Celtics 105, Golden State 103. This was a barn burner. As the Celtics had a six-point lead with a minute 58 left and watched it slip away, the one-man virtuoso show, otherwise known as Nate Robinson, sliced up the Celtics six straight points to tie up the game. He had 20 points and 11 assists. So Nate playing with that big chip on his shoulder. He always had it in Boston. Never quite played this well. He sure did. Yes, and did not get his ultimate revenge, though, because he had a chance to win the game by hitting a three with a second left, Man. and it was off the line. I think if he scored enough points, he's probably happy, win or lose. I don't That's think he true. Can. He was, wasn't really always about this, the no, team. No, not so like, we're like, we're like Shrek and Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, uh, can I help you out with your, with your flash and give you a, a scoop? Sure. Dale Arnold has learned. No, no, I, I well, I read. I didn't. I didn't learn. Um, apparently, the whole Dwight Howard thing has been thrown into a cocked hat here. Uh, Adrian Wojnarowski wrote about it on Yahoo Sports, but more importantly, he quoted a piece that ran late last night, three thirty-seven this morning. More importantly, Eastern Daylight Savings Time on RealGM.com, where Dwight Howard has said he's changed his mind. He will sign the waiver. He will not opt out. He will commit to the Orlando Magic through next year, and he doesn't want to go anywhere. I believe him. Done. I'm going to. I'm going to quote Dwight Howard. These are the oh, quotes. No. God, quote. This guy, just make up your mind. Quote. And, well, and and he admitted. He, he said he's gone back and forth. He said, "Man, listen. You know my heart, my soul, and everything I have is in Orlando. I just can't leave it behind." He goes on to say, and I'm reading direct quotes from him. Quote. I have gotten some bad advice. I apologize for this circus I have caused to the fans of our city. They didn't deserve none of this. I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart. I will do whatever I can to make this right and do what I was put in Orlando to do. You, I'll get on my hands and knees. I misspoke. This has been a very hard time for me, my family, and all of us. The fans deserve a better hero, and I will make that happen. I love and appreciate my fans and this city. He said he plans on signing the ETO waiver first thing Thursday morning. He also plans on making some internal changes to ensure this situation isn't repeated in the future. Said he uh, he had dinner with a bunch of his teammates, uh, three of his teammates, told them of his decision, called the general manager from the dinner table, and told them, I'll sign the waiver. I don't want to leave. You know what this means? Dwight Howard's going to be traded to the Lakers for Paul Gasol. <laughs> I mean, if I'm, the ma- a- if I'm the magic and all this is true, I couldn't, still couldn't get rid of this guy fast enough. I mean, he seems like a maniac at this point. It, it took him until March 14th yesterday. At 3.37 a.m. To realize that this, is, is it, this has never crossed his mind here the last couple of years. Sports Radio WEEI, now on 93.7 FM in Boston.